Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video, and today it's gonna be a brand new vocal tutorial, I haven't done one of these in a while, and I wanna get back into them, especially going into 2020, cause I know you guys been waiting on them, so any type of vocal effect, the vocal tour that you guys wanna see, please, in the comments below, let me know, that way I can go ahead and get working on them, but today I thought, what better way to do a vocal tour than teach you guys how to gain stage your microphones, especially for all them engineers or recording artists or producers who are recording artists or recording themselves, how to get the appropriate levels that where you don't be messing up your recordings at the end but if you can follow me on instagram twitter and soundcloud mr different tv and also make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification you guys need to join the community i mean for these and that also helps me because you know youtube doesn't like small creators like myself they like them big news outlets and stuff like that this will just help make sure that i you know am getting to your eyes and you know when you subscribe to my channel so hit that bell notification also share the video and leave a comment that helps as well so let's jump right inside of fl studio and let me teach you guys how to do this now, you don't have to have FL Studio to do this. I'm just using FL Studio because it's a DAW I had open, and it's like, why not, you know? But you can do this in any DAW, Studio One, Logic, Cubase, Pro Tools, whatever. Game staging is across the board. Now, game staging will make sure, or what game staging is, people get kind of mixed with leveling, but game staging is where you want to get the appropriate level going into your hardware or your interface, stuff like that. That way it doesn't distort clip or nothing like that. Now, in digital, you know clipping is bad we don't want to clip and i see a lot of people who record and they're always distorting and clipping their stuff uh if you're using analog gear it's a little bit different because analog clipping is actually good because it has infinite headroom blah 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 not being technical but we want to make sure we have the appropriate level going into the dw that way we can get the best audio quality we possibly can so for example i got a little beat put up here and i have my microphone set up here i'm gonna switch to my microphone in just a second first i want to talk about um your beat because a lot of people turn their mics up because their beats are too loud now don't do that that is dumb you know do not do that what you can do to help yourself out with that is actually turn your beat down so for example i'm gonna turn this beat down a few db so let's see how loud it is and i'm gonna turn it down to it's an appropriate level so go to song mode And if you see right here, if I click on the beat, it'll show you where it's peaking at. So I, I usually try to aim for in between negative six and negative 12 dB. It's a personal preference. That's really up to you. So it's gonna turn out just a little bit. And that should be good enough for when I actually switch over to a microphone to get. So if you have trouble with your beat being too loud, bring it down. Don't be afraid to bring your beat down. You don't have to have your beat at zero dB. You can bring it down because you're going to be doing mixing and mastering in the end. That's going to fix that. So now I'll switch over to my microphone inside of FL Studio. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and mute this microphone. So let's mute this one. And I'm going to switch over to FL Studio one. All right, so now you guys should be hearing me inside of FL Studio. The only plugin I have on my FL Studio right now is a R box, and I'm just using the gate functionality of it because that's all I need. I don't, I don't need nothing else. So when setting the gain staging of your actual microphone, you want to stay within the green level of your interface. So for example, I'm going to show you my interface control panel. That way you guys can see where I got set up. So as you see, I have 30 dB of gain on my microphone and you can see as I'm recording or as I'm speaking to it, it's at the green. So like I said, so that's a good level because that's going to give you enough headroom, going to give you enough, a, a better signal to noise ratio, all that good stuff. This is where you want to be. Now there is no really definite amount i can say but um you just don't want to be up in the yellow red so for example i'm gonna record right now this way and i'm gonna record with it too hot so you can see the difference so let's go ahead and set up everything so i'm gonna set this channel up to be my record track and i might do i'm gonna do a video about this so don't worry so that'll be my record track and let's just record something real quick so you guys see and then i'm gonna record it good level and then bad level so here we go yeah Y'all already know what it is, your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. About to teach you guys how to gain stage and stuff with a little bad freestyle. Let's go. It's been a long time, but I'm back up on the grind. I'm putting in work like it's overtime. And y'all be hating on me, I don't know why. I smoke that good, you know what? I just stay high. I just stay fly, cause I'm that guy. You ain't gotta like me, but you can't lie. I'm the best at doing this and teaching y'all stuff. If you don't like that, had enough okay that's just a little freestyle and as you can see it's at a pretty good level you see it's not peaking it's not clipping and it's recorded good if i play it back of course i'm gonna play it back real quick so you just hear how good it sounds
Yeah, y'all already know what it is, your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. About to teach you guys how to gain stage and stuff with a little bad freestyle. Let's go. It's been a long time, but I'm back up on the grind. And of course, if you normalize it and everything like that, it's still going to retain that good volume and everything like that because we had a good gain stage to begin with. Yeah, <laughs> y'all already know what it is, your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different. About to teach you guys how to gain stage and stuff with a little bad freestyle. Let's go. It's been a long time, but I'm back up on the grind. I'm putting in work like it's overtime. And y'all be hating on me. So that's just, that's some good gain staging right there. Now, let's show you the incorrect way to gain stage because a lot of you guys be doing this. So if we go back to my actual inter my interface right here, I like the, this interface because I got electronically controlled, you know, stuff right there, digital control. So most of you guys will record too hot and I'm gonna show you what happens when you record it too hot. So we'll just go ahead and create that up till it's like peaking. Yeah, there we go. So now let's actually record a freestyle like this, how most people who don't know what they're doing record. Yeah, it's your boy Slant, aka Mr. Different. And I'm gonna show you guys how not to record right now. So uh yeah, let's get it. And I'm putting in work like it's overtime. I do what I do, I stay up on my grind. This ain't how you record. This is not fine. Just because it's going in hot don't mean it's good. So you shouldn't do this. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. And let me change that back because that's bad. All right, so that is that right there. So now I'm about to switch back over to my other microphone because I don't want to use this no more. So let's do it real quick. And now you guys should be hearing me in my normal microphone, blah, blah, blah. So this is a bad recording. As you can see, it is clipping all the hell. And because I recorded clipping, I didn't gain stage right, I cannot recover this. It is gone forever. There's no point. Like No matter how much I turn it down, for example, it will never be unclipped or be undistorted. So as you can see, all right, so now I'm gonna play it. Yeah, it's your boy Slant, AKA Mr. Different. And I'm gonna show you guys how not to record right now. So, so as you can see, even though I'm bringing it, like, I don't know how many DBA, 21 DB is still distorted. That is because I didn't have the appropriate gain stage and I didn't gain stage right. So you really need to be careful when you're gain stage. Like I said, on most interfaces nowadays, like the focus rates and all that kind of stuff I know you guys are using, they have a green, yellow, and red uh, indicator you always want to stay at the green in when you're at your loudest so if you know you're going to be screaming and all that kind of stuff turn it down uh do a little test run make sure you're still in the green regardless because if it hits the red it's just going to distort and be bad like i said unless you're using like analog gear you don't want to distort it so basically if you want to make sure that you can record uh, if your beats too loud bring your beat down stuff like that also turn your headphones up if you need to and when you're recording you want to make sure you have the appropriate levels like i said it may be quiet right here but at the end of the day when you start adding eqs compressor stuff like that you can also if it's still too low just throw a limiter on it and make a letter blessed i'll make a full video on how to mix vocals coming up soon so don't worry so just make sure that you're careful when you are gang stage your stuff because at the end of the day if it's distorted in the digital realm it's not coming back it's done you can't recover that and i know there are some software out there that can declip stuff but they don't really do a 100 percent job you might as well just not clip at the beginning as you can see so with that being said i hope you guys enjoy and learn something about distortion or gain staging and hopefully you guys get the appropriate levels like i said if you want to see any more type of vocal tutorials out there please in the comments below let me know what you guys want to see if you want to see a vocal effect tutorial how to use reverb delay how to make vocals do this and that please let me know and i'll make sure i will get right on them as soon as possible so with that being said hope you guys enjoy like always y'all know who it is your boy slim aka mr different not motivated by the money but the like college cry and views and with that being said hope you guys enjoy like always and yeah i guess i'll just see you guys in the next video have a good one everybody